Hello YouTube viewers and welcome back to sunny South Africa. It's relatively sunny at least. Now, what I have to show you today is a hybrid cutting board, breadboard, Arduino board with built-in electrostatic safety and a handy carry handle for when you want to take your toys with you. Okay, after that amazing uh, sales pitch. I know that was awfully cheesy, wasn't it? But anyway, what I did was I built myself a bit more practical and less likely to lose, or drop or break board for my little Arduino. Because, well, actually something terrible happened to that. Uh, I was working with it and I got a little resistor under it and one of the leads of the resistor kind of shorted out something and all the lights on it went woo woo and it warmed up. But miraculously, it survived, which I'm very happy about because getting this kind of stuff in South Africa, although it's easy and all that, it's still kind of expensive and I wouldn't want to lose it or break it and, uh, well, it takes time shipping and everything and uh, well yeah so I figured I was gonna make myself a improvised anti-static mat so since I didn't actually have anything to make an improvised uh, well since I didn't have an anti-static mat to start off with and I just bought some Atmel 80 Tiny 85s and got myself some quite fancy uh, IRs, IR demodulators uh, I figured I needed to keep them safe from the harsh static electricity of our South African climate it's quite, it's, it gets pretty dry and uh, well, you get static electricity, although I can't say I've ever actually broken anything with static electricity, let's say. Uh, I figure, hey, it's a big industry and uh, there's got to be a reason, so I'm going to go with I believe static electricity exists. So, I built this. Now, what it is, is a really cheap breadboard, okay? Or a cutting board, rather. And, uh, yeah... I wouldn't want to use this to cook or cut or any actually make food on because well it looks it, it, it's it's tiny it's I have a real cutting board and that thing well you could park a house on it but anyway so I got this really cheap cutting board for a couple of rand that's our South African money for anyone interested so after I got the board I figured I'd just stick everything on but I figured ah, I'll make it a bit better so I got a bag that a motherboard comes in it's a uh, metallized plastic. It's got a small amount of metal in it, and it's slightly uh, conductive. So it dis it, both it dissipates; it doesn't gather up a charge. The plastic and the sl slight metal content makes it slightly conductive, but with very high resistance. So you can bleed off static electricity. And uh, well, I'll show you how this is all wired up at the back. There's a little alligator clip I can plug up to something that's grounded, like a cable that's grounded or the sh chassis of my computer or pretty much anything, a stick in the ground basically. So what I did was, uh, first I turned the bag inside out because uh, there's more metallization inside, at least apparently, couldn't really tell to be honest. So I turned it inside out and I basically slipped it over the breadboard and they're a perfect fit, like a glove, like it was made to be. And then I figured I needed to get the some sort of electrical connection between uh, the little ground cable I put and uh, well the bag basically. So what I did was I got a piece of tin foil, folded it up a couple of times, wrapped uh, the other end of the cable inside the tin foil and that provides a nice big large surface and when the board is pressed down, uh, when the board is pressed down you uh, get decent conductivity I presume. I have no real way of testing this. I did think about uh, plugging this up to one end of a high voltage source and trying to see if I could get some sort of arcing between the plastic and this but uh, I don't want to take all this stuff off and I'm not going to risk doing it while stuff's actually on the board so the next step was I simply got some string, made some holes and uh, basically sewed my little Arduino and my little breadboard onto this and uh, well I hope it works, it provides a little bit of work area, keeps everything neat so you don't lose it. So the distance between here and there is about the longest uh, jumper cable you get. So there's no problems with uh, wiring stuff up from the Arduino to the breadboy. And uh, yeah, I hope somebody finds this useful because, uh, well, I think it's a pretty neat idea. Thank you for watching.